Can we hack the Gibson with a metric tape measure and an HP palm top? We're finding out today on Payload. Actually, I lied. We're not going to do any of that. I still need a haircut. Good morning, internet. That crying in the background is a puppy that woke me up at 6 a.m. and I've been up ever since. I didn't get any sleep because Seb messaged me in the middle of the night because his middle of the night is my middle of the afternoon or the inverse thereof. Note to self, put your phone on silent before you sleep. I was gonna do a K-Red Ultra Reet Hacks video today with some PowerShell that does really nifty stuff, but we're gonna have to save that for next week. In the meantime, if you haven't had one of these, try them. They're from my grandma in South Africa. They're amazing. So seeing as I don't even have time to set up this guy, we're just gonna take this guy. We're gonna have fun today. I'm taking you along with me. Peach, I'm just going to the hardware store. I'll be back. I may just be saying this because I'm a new puppy dad for the first time ever, but this girl Peach here is probably the smartest dog that ever existed. No, I'm not even gonna bother. Call it a day. Hardware store. There we go, RG6. I gotta love that uh, brick and mortar stores in the United States, or at least in California, they wanna check your receipt when you leave the doors if you stole something. All you have to do here at least is just walk out and say no thank you. Come on dude, I'm not stealing anything. Pa -pa perusal Someone going to daycare? Peach! What's that? What's that? Oh yeah. Puppies like fire trucks. So we're in downtown Oakland now, heading into the Hack Fight Warehouse in Richmond, and along the way we're gonna drop off Peach at the puppy daycare so she can play with other puppies. I guess at some point she can play with other dogs, but she needs a few more vaccines. Or no anti-vaxxers. You know, one minute you're hacking across the planet, and then the next you're taking a puppy to daycare. Well, you come up with your own conclusions. So I've come here to a sort of sketchy side of Richmond because this is a chapter marker in life, if you will. Um, Long-time viewers of Hack5 know that we actually started in Virginia, and at one point when things didn't really work out, uh, I got uh, a friend, Dave Randolph, reached out to me and said, hey, dude, you can stay with me here, and here, it's right here on Barrett and Harbor Way in Richmond, California. So I pretty much sold off everything that I owned and got on the motorcycle and headed one way west on that uh, Hack Across America adventure. You can find the vlogs from 2010 on YouTube there. But along the way, you know, having absolutely nothing but a dream and a buck in my pocket, I asked uh, you guys, the audience, to, to help me out along the way. And I had you know, just hundreds of people sign up to, to put me up for the night and help me along the way to, to get out here. And it's just like, the story of my life, it warms my heart so much. I can't tell you how grateful I am to be here today because of that. And to Dave for putting me up in this joint here because it allowed Hack5 to get where it is today. Uh, to shoot out of that garage was just so much fun. And after about a year there, we were able to, to finally move on to something a little cooler. Let's check that out. This was the next major milestone for Hack 5. This chapter saw everything from the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark III to the Mark V to the USB rubber ducky. This old firehouse from like 1905. I just remember being so scared going into this place thinking, oh my God, Hack 5's a business now and we have a lease. Even though it was like month to month and a buck a square foot, but still, you know, this was the era where, you know, Shannon moved out to California and, and Hack 5 really came into its own, I feel like. Also, the little town of Point Richmond is like Main Street, USA. You got like children running in the streets and stuff. You can literally skateboard down Main Street. It's no big deal. I love this place. Seriously, this is like the greatest place in the back.
then there's this chapter, the warehouse. When the firehouse got too small for us, it was really just luck that this popped up the same week. And we were able to just move just down the street to a pretty rad warehouse. Of course, there's a lot of changes going on right now and the warehouse isn't as cool as it used to be. But this is the place that allowed us to do pen tests with Hack 5 and so much more. Hey, look, there's Josette, the CB750 that got me to California. As you might imagine, shutting down a warehouse is no small feat. And along the way, you find all sorts of interesting, weird stuff like this weirdo. Patrick, what you doing? I'm sorting, packing, getting rid of things, contemplating my future, as one does. Is this, is this in the keep pile? Tell me that's in the keep pile. This is in the keep pile. Okay. Anything related to Raspberry Pis and single board computers is always in the keep pile. The world's worst Apple-created adapter, probably not in the keep pile. Is that a 30 pin? Yes, it's a Lightning the 30 pin. One of the least functional adapters ever. Let's find some more legacy stuff. I believe you found this last week, Darren. Oh, 6.22 was the best. Really? I don't know. You I might have. You were a two-timer. I, I was. I just had to try them both. You never know. And which one did you settle with? Red Hat. <laughs> there is. That's it. Oh, oh man. You need a bike helmet too, right? Need a bike helmet. Anybody need a mouse? Hey, this one does uh, Serial and PS2, and it says it works with Windows 95. Here, I, uh, I got you an upgrade. Oh. Yeah. Add that to your single board computer collection. <laughs> Just need to find a working motherboard. Say, where's the motherboard? I love that it's a cartridge. You know how you make these work better? <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I learned that from my Nintendo days. This was a mistake. Cartridge at CPUs. It wasn't a mistake. Yeah. It was an excuse to make everybody get new motherboards for the next generation of processor. That's and then they went to something else. That's and you had to get another motherboard. And then they went to something else. And you know what all those motherboards have in common? You always have to go to something else. <laughs> yes. Another Intel chipset. Yay, sockets. I mean, slots. Mm. Slockets? Hey, uh, hey Jay. Yeah. Hey, um, I got that report you asked for. It's, uh, there you go. Good. Uh, where are the other five disks to make the spreadsheet complete? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. It's in Microsoft Access as well. No, VisiCalc. VisiCalc. <laughs> Somebody actually remembers Visic. <laughs> so I always love rolling with my portable <laughs> operating system. <laughs> MS DOS. <laughs> oh, dude, you got to get the one with high mem.sys in your, in your uh, config sys. I got an autox.bat that'll have your machine running three times as fast. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Dude, this is not a regular disc. Oh, Look. damn. Oh, that's cool. I think somebody made this for us. Oh, yeah, huh? Hey, it's a USB drive. Let's just plug it in. <laughs> you know, that was actually my first operating system. Oh, this Windows is Windows 9 to 5. This is the one with USB support. I hear, hey, I hear that's gonna catch on. It might, it might. Such weird stuff. This is a cup from Revision 3 back when that was a thing with Techzilla and Philly DeFranco. And this right here, that is a prototype of a Mark V. Way before the Mark V. I think that's a prototype of a Mark III. And that's for, uh, well, that's just for fun. This is actually that Hack Across America tour I was talking about that started here in Virginia and just kind of zigzagged around and eventually got to the bay. And I was very sad that I ran out of West. Oh, look, DV tapes. This right here is season two, episode one. That's how many DV tapes it took to make an episode. It's so crazy. On the Metasploit Minute this week, we will discuss cracking at a level that you have never seen before. <laughs> Are those spare computers? Mm -hmm. This is insane. Wait, this, what happened to the DEF CON tote? We killed the DEF CON tote. This is like 40 laptops for pen test with Hack 5. Red team notebooks. Red team. Oh my god, that is the coolest DEF CON badge ever. I know what that is too. Guys, this is like the Pentium. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sarah. You're welcome. 
What you got over there, Patrick? Yeah, yeah Whoa, that's that? a BFG. Yeah, Something new from HB came in today. Let's see. <laughs> oh my God. Scotty, beat me to the Enterprise. Oh yeah, hang on, let me uh, let me make a note here. I just gotta get my stylus out and then, uh, wait. This sounded ridiculous until now all the phones have stylus. Styli. We're styling. I missed the iPack. This is the HP iPack. I had the original compact iPack. Yo, uh, Patrick, you need an iPack? I'm good, man. It's got four megs of RAM. So, <laughs> what does leaving the warehouse mean to you? Yeah, somebody get her a fork. This is typical. <laughs> Mini Mouse. Okay, oh, guys. Spectacle Fest. I don't know if y'all know. It's a shame. This happens almost every year. It's always a little sad saying goodbye to a place like this. I mean, this was basically home for the longest time. I built so many drones here. There were so many good times to be had, but sometimes you just got to embrace the change. Woo! And all the cool stuff that's coming next. Hey, look at these. And there goes Josette. Bye bye, bike. Bye bye, Josette. Bye bye, Josette. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really sentimental about this bike, and it's tough to see her go. That's all I can say. And suddenly, like that, it's empty. What? Freak. Domain.com has all your website needs, from .com and .net domains to intuitive website builders, so you can take that first step in creating your online identity. Let me tell you, there's no domain extension like a .com or a .net, or if you want to brand yourself, Domain.com has over 300 domain extensions like .club and .space. These guys are huge fans of Hack5. They're affordable, reliable. We've been using them for years. They've got all the tools you need to share your ideas with the world. And because they're such big fans, they are hooking you up with 15% off their already affordable prices. So get domain names and web hosting and email, and just be sure to use that coupon code HAK5. So when you think domain names, think domain.com.